Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video we're going to solve this interesting algebra problem. This problem is, is different with, the, with another one because over here we have minus x, right here we'll have square root of x. So I want to show you my approach, how my thoughts about, about this problem. So first of all let's let's try to solve it. I'm going to show you the first approach that I, I use it all time to solve this problem because this is a little bit, a little bit complicated approach but I want to use it. So take a look, right here we have square root of x. So we know that this expression inside need to be positive, so greater or equal to zero. So we know that this is our, our school program. And moreover, this minus x need to be positive as well. Minus x is greater or equal to zero. And we need to solve this system of equation and we will find our, our answer. This is not hard system of equation because x is greater or equal to zero. This is our first first line and the second multiplied by minus one. So if we multiply is x is less than or equal to zero. So we have two two equations. So take a look. I read this is this dot. So we have zero. First first equation is good when x is greater or equal to zero. And the second one is good when x is less than zero or equal to zero as well. So as you can see, our our lines intersect only in one point. Right here, this goes to, to plus infinity, right here to, to minus infinity, and one common point is this zero. So x is equal to zero will be our solution. Let's check it. So square root of zero plus square root of minus zero equal to zero, which is good, which is which is correct. So this is my approach using using inequalities. But moreover we can easily solve it using our our school program, using our knowledge at school. So square root of x minus square root of minus x equal to equal to zero. Bring in, bring this on the right hand side, square root of x equal to square root of minus x, erasing both sides to the second power, we will have that x equal to minus x if we bring this minus x on the left, we will have 2x equal to 0 and from here x equal to 0 as well. I prefer this this way because this is more interesting for me. This is not like a school a school program. I prefer this one. This is a really good approach. So this is a second approach. I, I, I'm pretty sure you saw it using this way, but I want to show you I want to share you with this one. And for those who stay stay with me, I want to show you a third third way. This is an alternative alternative form. If we assuming that if x is positive. So if x is positive, so the first square root is good, square root of x. But if x is positive, we will have a really good, really good case because we can write this minus as minus one times x equal to zero. And if we separate this minus one, we will have square root of x minus square root of minus one and times square root of x equal to the zero. We all know that this element, this is element in our complex number theory, this is equal to i. So we will have our alternative form assuming that x is positive. So square root of x minus i square root of x equal to equal to zero. If we can factor out it, so square root of x and in parentheses one minus i equal to equal to zero. So this is our complex, if you're talking about complex number. And from here x is equal to zero as well. Because square root of x equal to zero, we will have x equal to zero. So x equal to zero will be our root. Three approaches the first one using inequalities, the second one using of a school school knowledge, and the third one if you interested in a complex number, I hope you you enjoyed this. If you do, put thumbs up, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.